Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. Once again, it is Team Riot Riot. And who, have you, anyone out there on social media got a chance to watch the very first video of the day? If not, what are you waiting for? I'm just teasing. So, if you really, really want to be a part of the Riot Riot show, like I mentioned a few videos ago, follow me, DM me on my Facebook Messenger, you know, the Rai Rai Show, just type in Rai Rai Show, and then I'll, you, you will get a message, or I will get a message on my end, and we'll, you and I will make arrangements, or on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, even um, YouTube, I don't know if YouTube still de does DMs anymore, probably got rid of it a long time ago, but the other social media accounts does it. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the article will be down below or the link will be down below. Let's rock and roll. Let's get into this. Okay, now... I didn't mind, at first, the return of Goldberg. The reason he did that is for his flippin' son. No offense, okay? Okay? No, let me rephrase that. For his son. I'm sorry, I just get a little irritated. I'll tell you why. Then eventually, W decided, you know what? Let's bring him in again. And then again. And then again. You know, this old, washed-up dude... I don't know if he's really worthy as a W Hall of Famer. I don't know. You know, some people love him. Some people cannot stand him. Now, he beat The Fiend. That was stupid. Um, he beat a lot of guys in this path. That was very, very dumb. He should never be been champion at his age. Very stupid, you know? Um, I'm glad that... Um, um, and then he had a few with... Braun Strowman, I think he beat Braun Strowman. I don't remember. It was a it was a huge blur because he posted a face, um, Roman Reigns, but of course Roman Reigns pulled out last year of WrestleMania. You know why? So that match between Goldberg and Braun Strowman was not that great. Um, I like Braun Strowman, but they don't treat him very well lately. What else is new? So. Yeah, how many times he's champion? This guy should just stay retired, you know? And you're wondering how much money did he get paid at the Rumble? Here it goes. I don't think I'm going to tell you on here. Okay, I'm just going to briefly discuss this. Eric Bischoff, during a recent interview on In Slight with Chris Vin podcast i know i totally messed it up i'm sorry now it discuss how much money he get paid for the royal rumble okay that's insane seven figures per match including at the royal rumble that's insane okay holy crap does he really deserve it i don't know just for a very short match all his matches his whole entire entire career was very very short maybe I think that Hulk Hogan match, or sorry, Halloween Hulk Hogan match was very decent. I don't know why WCW and the WWE make them short matches. I like the long matches, you know, but maybe he can't go the distance anymore because he's so old and fragile. I don't know. Um, the time he faces Taker. I know a lot of you are blaming all on Goldberg. Well, people, to the tangle. So it's Taker's fault and Goldberg's fault. Of course, all the blame on Goldberg. They don't want. They don't want to put any blame on Taker. He's a legend and all that stuff. I I understand that. That match in that time frame should never ever happen. Taker should never say yes to McMahon. Did Taker really need the money at his age? I doubt it. I flippin' doubt it. He loves the passion. And, you know, he should retire a long time ago. 
And I know you're going to say age does not matter. Well, if you have aches and pains and the arthritis, it does matter, okay? You know, it's sad. You know, hopefully this is it for him. And I hope the next inductee in the 2021 W Hall of Fame will be himself. I doubt it, but you never know. So, you guys can read the, this whole entire thing if you guys and gals are very, very curious. Now, were you a fan of Goldberg and WCW? In the early days of WWE or the later days of the WWE? You know? Why do they bring him in? Is it because he's cheaper? Is it because he's a big time name? I don't understand that. I guarantee the other wrestling companies doing the same thing. Bring these old guys into the mix. You know, I know you're going to say it just does not matter. It matters for wrestling. It really does. They, they put their bodies online a lot. You know, 365 days a year if they are a full-time wrestler. Then eventually, they're going to have a lot of aches and pains. They pop in pills. And then, I'm sorry to say that, they die at a young age. And, of course, they're going to blame on... Um, the steroids and whatever, you know. So, is it really worth to risk your body 365 days a year? No. And I guarantee that McMahon is not paying that very well. You got to work your way up in the rankings to pay very well. You know, it's good for us to entertain us. But we really want to put your bodies online. Not me. And it looks fun to watch on TV or back you are wrestling that is dangerous also um so of course if you ever want decided to go to go in a pro business you need to go to wrestling school you know i know you're gonna say it's too much money my parents will never allow me doing that that's fine and danny then maybe you want to make a video to be a cameraman and maybe the we will see your work and do that kind of thing you don't have to be a flipping wrestler wrestler Maybe you don't have the body for it. Maybe you don't have the skills for it. But if you really want to get into the wrestling business, you know how Ted Turner used to do, say, maybe you want to go to college or do make videos or something like that, get your name out there. That'd be delightful like I'm doing, but I would never get that popular. I know one of my videos yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon was very popular with the title. But after that, my videos are just, trash but i'm keep on trying forget the haters i don't re i don't respond to the haters i try not to so have a good one enjoy your rest of your wednesday and i'll talk to you sometime tomorrow don't forget friday will be my will be my fast lanes prediction sorry i'm kind of not thinking very well sometimes so have a good one thanks for watching and of course go bears not too happy with the um, the latest uh, move for free agency is very stupid. So later, follow me on Instagram and I might go live very soon again. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday.